<laughs> Holy. All right, good morning, everyone. Um, we are just starting our Moab 2023 trip. Um, we're gonna be going through Yellowstone National Park, um, then through Logan, through Idaho Falls, and then Moab. Um, should be really good. Um, we're just leaving Calgary now. It's just shy of 6 a.m. A little later than I wanted to leave, but it's okay. It's all gonna be good. And uh, can't wait to show you our journey. All right, guys, we just crossed into Montana. Um, we did get stopped at the border. They did check the truck out. We're now going to do some shopping and then we're heading down to uh, just uh, north of Yellowstone National Park to do some camping. Uh, one of the one of my uh, followers uh, on Instagram showed me a spot to go. I'm not going to share it because uh, it's a pretty cool spot, but uh, I'll show you some clips of it and some photos and it'll be pretty sweet. And then in the morning we're headed to um, Yellowstone National Park. Um, we're gonna go do some of the hot uh, hot tubs and hot springs and all that sort of stuff and see some of the waterfalls and uh, should be pretty good. <laughs> all right, we've been driving for approximately eight hours now. We've kind of stopped here and there for some shopping, gas and Kind of looking around looking at some of the signs whatnot and uh, we're just headed to our first campsite of the trip it's just north of yellowstone national park should have some great views and can't wait to share it with you all right so we're just driving in out of a rainstorm right now and just wanted to show you this nice skies over here and then if you look out this window it is just dark super dark crazy all right we just got to our campsite here this is what we found right near a river pretty sweet i think we're gonna set up our tent right here and uh we got a little fire pit i brought my uh propane fire can just in case there was a fire ban but uh maybe we'll start a real fire here and uh i'll take some scenic videos of our site here some fajitas and then uh, we got a little fire set up here tent set up next to the river should be uh, an awesome night maybe a little bit of rain but uh, hopefully we'll go to bed before the rain comes the next morning all right good morning we uh, just woke up from our campsite here in Montana uh, we woke up to a little bit of rain. That's all right. It's uh, we kind of found some shelter here. It's not uh, no, we're definitely getting wet. But uh, got some bacon going. Um, getting some eggs ready to make an egg wrap, and uh, then we're gonna head down to the Yellowstone National Park. All right. Little update on the trip. Um, originally, when we started coming down, we were planning on going slow, like just kind of stopping certain spots to get down to Moab. So we were coming down through Yellowstone National Park, uh, West Yellowstone National Park, and we woke up or we found a spot to go camping and that was good. Um, the only problem is in the morning we woke up to a bunch of rain, we headed over and then we got a message saying that the road was closed. So we ended up just 
saying, let's just head down to uh, Logan. We had some friends down there. So we stopped at their house and hung out for a little bit. And we stayed the night in Logan. Now we just got to Land Cruiser Museum. And after this, we're going to head down to Moab and stay the night or stay the next couple nights, either in a hotel or camping. Haven't decided yet, but uh, should be pretty awesome. And there'll be a little bit of wheeling and I can't wait to show you guys some of the stuff that's there. Um, it's going to be awesome. Museum. We're checking out the, the aisle of the FJ40s. There's some FJ25 as well. They have some of the new Land Cruisers over here. A new room with all the engines in them. Um, that they put in all the Land Cruisers. They have a bunch of 70 series over there for race trucks, mine trucks. And then they have that crawler down there, which is pretty sweet. But it's awesome. If you're in Salt Lake City, Utah, you gotta come check this place out. Alexis, how do you like the Land Cruiser Museum? Phenomenal. Wow, that was really close to my mouth. But you like it? That was great. What was your favorite part about the Land Cruiser Museum? Uh, the, uh, losing Jared in the Land Cruiser Museum, actually. And um, yeah, 40 series is pretty cool. Yeah. But you lost me in the, in the store? The store? Mm, like, sorry, the museum? Ginormous facility. Couldn't find Jared anywhere. He was gone. So that was a good 30 minutes. Yeah. All right, just a little update. Um, it's gotten very, very windy. Um, I would probably guess winds around at least 80 kilometers an hour, which is about 55 miles per hour. Um, it's pretty crazy. And it's kind of almost a headwind. It's kind of coming at an angle, but uh, we're on our way to Moab now. We're driving a little bit into this uh, tropical storm. I think it's called Tropical Storm Hillary. Um, but yeah, oh, it's quite uh, an adventure on this trip and nothing has been going quite to plan. Would you look at those beauties? If you look to your right, you will see that we have rocks and dirt wild dead with bushes in them ready to attack at any time all right we just got to our uh, next spot to sleep um, not quite where we wanted to. It's kind of like a pay-it-yourself campsite. Um, we tried to find a spot, but it was, by the time we would have got there, it would have been way, way, way too dark. Like, and we would have been off-roading and stuff in the dark. So we just pulled off the highway here. We're going to set up the tent and then in the morning, maybe do a hike and then just keep going, checking out, uh, Moab, Utah. <music> All right, we just got to Arches National Park. Um, we're going to do the delicate arch. Um, should be pretty sweet. I'm bringing my camera along, so I'm gonna try to get some artsy photos. Got my shirt from the Land Cruiser Museum, and uh, we'll be ready to go in just a minute. So we just finished the delicate arch hike. Um, we're just gonna make some sandwiches here. And then, I don't know, we'll just go exploring from here. You can technically go in here, but uh, I don't know how we're gonna open this safely. <laughs> Back 
to your regularly scheduled program. Right. we just kind of got to our first off-road trail we're uh, in arches national park or very close to um figured i'd flex it out on a rock here i've actually managed to keep all four tires on the ground which is pretty sweet and you'll see that in a minute here um but uh, we're just doing some exploring apparently there's a cool canyon over here so we're just going to keep on going and we'll share it with you Well, we just wanted to show you this real quick. Um, I wasn't the one that broke this, but uh, this is the gate that's supposed to be uh, like, no, it doesn't stop you. It's just like to keep like animals out and stuff. But uh, yeah, that gate's seen better days. Yep. All right, kids, we're gonna show you how we have to put this gate back on. First of all, we're gonna get this one set up. This one works like a gate. So that's how the gates. Bruh. That's okay, we'll come back to it. Oh. Oh. Well, you see. Um. So we are pro at this now, just letting you know. <laughs> Maybe. No, no. No, no. Up here. Then, uh, yeah, it should lock in like that. And then we're gonna just walk away right away. Yep. Eight success. It's not much, but it'll do. I would just like to say this is my yep, reality you. of my trip. Uh, Jared gets out to do the tires and now meets new friends. So. I'm sorry. No. Okay, y'all. Second sandwich of the day. We did a second hike. Which one was that for? And now it's raining. Again. For the fourth time during my trip. I'll be honest, I don't know the name of the second uh, hike we did, but we were in Arches uh, National Park and just kind of going around. We did some of the hikes, we looked at some of the stuff. Um, Took a picture of the floating rock. That was pretty cool. Yep. Um, other than that, um, now we gotta find a swimming pool because it is hot. It's, it's very ridiculously hot. Ridiculously hot. Um, I think we're gonna go find. And, a and it's raining out of. Yeah, out of literally nowhere. There's no clouds. It's just. So there is that way, but. I don't know, but it's kind of nice to be honest. Alexis, what's going on? Again, it's like on and off every hour. Where? It's sunny. How is it raining? Every hour, it switches. All right, Alexis, start it off. Good morning. We're on day five now. It's Wednesday. Where are we going? We are headed to top of the world. And what's so cool about it? Oh, well, Jared just hypes it up all the time, but pretty cool ledges. What's at the end? A lookout. Yep. I'm a little scared, though, I'll be honest. It's okay. I won't push her. Not this time. Wink, wink. 
Um, I've done it before, she hasn't. We're gonna do some spotter training and see how she does spotting the truck up some of the ledges. And then later on today, we're gonna go see if we can meet up with a group of people for uh, Hell's Revenge. See if we can go conquer that. Um, but first, we're gonna probably rent a hotel, dump a bunch of the stuff off so that we're not putting as much strain on some of the, uh, the vehicle. Um, other than that, nothing else really going on today. I'm just kind of doing an off-road day and it should be pretty awesome. Getting a bunch of questions on my mud flaps and I'll give you a little rundown. It's actually just a removable mud flap to keep me uh, legal where I'm from. Um, it's just on a little uh, slider there with this pin. It goes through here and then if you look here, I've just got a little rod welded to the frame. And then off-road, I have a bunch more clearance. And then when I'm done with it, put it in my little backpack here. And put these up here. And for those that are wondering, this is from The Last Bag Company. happened <laughs> it's all for the shot right it's all for the shot i guess yeah um i didn't expect it to be quite that flashy oops
All right, guys, the moment you've been waiting for. We filmed some of the off-roading. Some of it was kind of repetitive, so we didn't film all of it. But check this out. We are right on the edge. I didn't go quite as far as last time, but it's still pretty crazy. This does not show it at all. I'll come over here and show it from the side. Maybe include some pictures in this. There you go. What an awesome trip. And just as we expected, here comes the rain. So we're just gonna pack up and start heading back down the trail. Driver, passenger. <laughs> what happened? I'm not sure why I agreed to this. Why are you all wet? Because Jared needed a reel. Oh, well, you see. See that little puddle there? Little. It's deeper than it looks. I had a Lexus stand right beside it. My shoes are wet. After finding that little swimming hole and ended up going swimming for about an hour or so, we headed over to Hell's Revenge, where therefore we did some really crazy obstacles. The first part of it is a crazy cliff off to your right and left, and there's some steep hill climbs, and it's just crazy right out of the gate. There was a bunch of water in there that made things slippery and more technical. There was an obstacle that you'll see in this next clip here that uh, a couple other vehicles struggled up and there was a bunch of tourists that were watching and I made it up first go, which was really cool. And it was awesome that so many people were out there sharing the same passion. Here's our next rainstorm. I got the rope going to the tailgate to kind of create a barrier. And we're staying nice and dry. And it is pouring rain. What do you think, Alexis? It's too rainy for my liking. All right, I've been really bad at giving you guys an update on our trip. Um, basically what we had done is we went to Canyonlands. Um, it rained on us and it was super windy. We couldn't see much. I'll insert some pictures here. Um, but uh, we're just, we stayed in South Jordan, Utah last night at my aunt's house. And 
now we're slowly headed, it's now Friday, we're slowly heading back, and we're just kind of taking it slow, maybe we'll stop in Great Falls, maybe go all the way, just taking it easy because the weather hasn't been super great and super windy and camping's just been kind of hard to do on this trip, but it uh, should be good. Update, driving through the mountain pass between Butte and Helena and of course it's raining on us again. Views are good though.